As we quickly approach the June 2nd finish line of statewide health orders. So we're in a different category than Costco, Target, department stores, restaurants. Some business owners like Dr. Chris Theodoro in Strongsville say masks will still be mandatory for staff and customers even after Wednesday has come and gone. We believe that our patients coming in and sitting in the waiting room still need to be wearing a mask until we see that there's a sufficient amount of the population vaccinated. Theodoro believes rules should vary across the board depending on the type of business. We're waiting on guidance from the American Dental Association and the Ohio State Dental Board. At Market Garden Brewery, regulations will relax Wednesday. So as of June 2nd, we are um, just going forward. Um, masks are optional. That includes customers and staff. Our entire team is vaccinated, so we're really happy about that. And I, our feeling is at this point, anybody that's not vaccinated has actively chosen not to be. Businesses can have. And Sharona Hoffman, a legal expert at Case Western Reserve University, says independent businesses do reserve the right to choose. They can require all sorts of things. They can say no smoking, even though you have a right to smoke in this country and they can say you still have to wear a mask within our premises. And staff can refuse service to non-compliant customers. Private businesses are able to have policies um, as long as they are not discriminatory, as long as they don't discriminate against people because of race or gender or anything else that is protected by law. Theodoro has already seen resistance from patients before the official end of Ohio's health mandates. We have had patients that have pushed back, and actually even today I had a patient who walked in, didn't call, didn't want to wear a mask. But says productive, rational conversations typically ease those uncomfortable situations. And then she, you know, thought about it and said, yeah, you know, you're right. You are different than going into a department store. In addition, Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson says visitors will be once again welcome inside city buildings beginning July 6th. But facial coverings will be mandatory and all visitors may receive a temperature screening at the door. Reporting for News 5, I'm Emily Hamilton.